Howdy there, folks. Welcome back to Ghost Recon Wildlands with a Cop. I'm Mr. Tex, and I'm being joined by Mr. Deputy. Hello, Deputy. Your audio just cut out. Oh, my God. It did it again. This motherfucker. Howdy there, folks. Mr. Tex of the Black Pants Legion, joined by the Deputy, who's been my uh, assistant in these uh, tactical police game things for a while. Howdy. This is, what would you call this? This isn't a police action. This is a travesty. This is, yeah. I think this is just crime. This we're is, just committing crimes. Is is this crime? I, th I think we're criminals. Criminals. Okay. So we're a bunch of Americans going to Bolivia. And, uh, audio cut out again. Oh my fucking God. All right. Sorry. It does that every time I create a lobby. Oh, good Lord. I don't know how you would green light an operation like this. Like, okay, what is the objective? Meander around a country for indeterminate period of time. Who do you report to? A lady? Like, what is this? I know what they're trying to do. All right. Tell tell <clears throat> the viewers who may not. Uh, when you listen to their little intro brief, what they are trying to do is they're trying to do Kiki Camarena and the murder of him. He was a DEA agent who was murdered by a Mexican cartel. And the United States government brought the hammer down and wound up dismantling that organization, which then sprouted off into all of the cartels, which now currently vie for control of Mexico, making it actually a much more dangerous place than it was. How dare you tell people these these things? Yes. The murder of Kiki Camarena was this really interesting study in law enforcement, uh, mainly mm -hmm. because you have somebody who is sent as a deep cover agent into the cartels as an early attempt to run not only counterintelligence versus them, but just to see if deep cover is even possible, uh, much like they had done with Rico and the US mob. Uh, and what they found out is that Cartel's actually really smart and has a lot of military minds in it who are actually exceptionally intelligent when it comes down to finding out who's in their business and, and then sussing out how to stop them. And so, again, the hammer got brought down and things got, uh, as they say, real. Also, I, I realize how ridiculous my character is. We're gonna operate cross country as operators, you know? Oh, are we gonna take the Subaru? The not a yeah. Subaru? Get in the Forester, it's designed for this. The commercials show that, but I'm gonna say this, every Subaru Forester I've seen for sale that is used comes into two broad categories. One will say 250,000 miles, doesn't burn oil. They will always point that out. They will never say how many engines have been through it. And then they will say that, you know, good family car, blah, blah, blah. And it looks mostly clean. The second one is going to look like how we look when we get there. <laughs> and it will say mechanic special. They will both yep. be the same price. I'm not saying that Subarus can't go off-road, but people use them like ranch trucks. Nomad, oh my god. Is our call sign Nomad? Mm -hmm. Ugh. I've yeah, seen, yeah, we're... I've seen this car in traffic. <laughs> so have I. Yeah. Usually has, like, a bunch of stickers about what kind of dogs they have. It'll be like, I'm a lab mom, you know, on the back. Uh, and yeah, the, the frame's not straight, so the whole vehicle is just like cattywampus. Oh yeah, we're gonna Go kick in. this door open, which means I need to get my room clearing gun. Uh, which, as you know, is is belt fed. That's that's what you do when you're you're serious about house to house room clearing. Mm -hmm. All right, okay, here we go. Let's get in here. Oh, pick the lock. Yes, because stealth is important. I saw ever since lock picking got really popular on YouTube, a whole bunch of people buy lock picking kits. I've yet to find somebody who actually can lock pick as well as those videos in real life. No. Um, and the reason is, is because there's a it 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 is a skill set that requires a lot of precision and a lot of a lot a lot of practice. But the other issue is I also realized that uh, it's very easy to look um, very good at a profession with editing. <laughs> yeah. 
I, I, like, for example, if you had me bake a cake, um, there would be about 400 edits in it. As I'm like, how much flour again? What the f- And it just cuts right before I start swearing. The lockpicking lawyer is legit, though. Uh, not to- not to throw any shade versus that dude. Because I had spoken to somebody who'd met the man, and they said that he could pick a lock while talking to you. Like, he's got the knack for it, so, like, A++. Alright, there's that. Alright, I'm gonna slice the pie here. I shot him in the head, he's dead. What? No, you're not. Wow, that was it? Yeah, finish him off. Oh, this guy had a minigun. That's pretty cool. He did? Yeah, I mean, look at this. He's got the A134 set up, you know? Yeah. No? Yeah. No ammo? Just he's got loose ammo here in the corner. Guess he just thought he'd feed that in by hand. I don't know. Tango down. But no, I'd uh, I'd seen I'd seen some shit with a lockpicking lawyer, and uh, I was like, man, that guy's really good. And then I spoke with somebody who met the dude, and they said that he was that good in person. And I'm like, fuck, that's cool. <laughs> oh, cool. We get some AKs with scopes on it. We we get some jank AKs. Okay, her AK-47 has the hundred round drum, which are actually quite hard to find anymore. Um, but the his AK-47. Looks like something you'd see at the gun range. He's got the Bakelite magazines, he's got the cheek weld tape, and he's got the biggest fucking optic you can put on it, which is great. It's, I, I love AK optics. They range from very blurry and close in to very blurry and actually outrange. Far away. Yeah. Well, they get to the point where the long range AK optics will show you pictures of things you can't shoot. <laughs> you know, I'll be like, see that? Yeah, that's out of range. You're like, oh. Why, why is there a 12 power scope on a rifle that's prime sweet spot is 400 to 500 meters at most? I know you can shoot beyond that. I've seen AK Operator Union do it, but I'm saying for most people in most cases, you have to play this game called Law of Averages, which is most people are okay shots. Please don't hit me with a tail rotor. Oh god, you hit me with a helicopter. <laughs> well, you didn't hit me with a tail rotor. Also, as cool as this guy is, uh, who made his custom AKs, he somehow decided to be extra unique by using the, uh, 20 round Bakelite mags. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like, why? Well known. Well known, 20 line, it took, yeah. Like, no? Okay, god, god damn it. They're shooting I at me. I hate, 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 hate the Mac 10 snipers. Oh, yeah, exactly. The MAC-10, most notable for being a DMR. The MAC-10 is a box that throws lead. It empties magazines faster than throwing them on the ground. I, I tucked down the minigun gunner. All right, well, let's run down this uh, thing here. And let's go take the big old truck. The side corn truck. See, it's got side corn on it. That's what we're I hauling. do see that. All right, I'm gonna pick you up down the road, okay? Yeah. Oh my god, this thing handles like a pig. Okay. Oops. All right, a little bit of- oh, they see me. All right, never mind! It's on now! Okay, I- holy shit, that's amazing. I don't know how I did that. Well, yes, I do, but let's leave. You know, it makes you wonder, like... How are the Revels doing anything with Unidead that- what the fuck was that? That was- Majestic. <laughs> that was majestic. Like, I'm not offended. That's just good. Oh, these trees are impervious. Well, dude. It's because they're, they're an orchard. Well, if you plant trees in an orchard, as you know, they're indestructible. Is there a single undamaged body panel anywhere on this truck? Uh, back right. Back right is pretty good. Nope, never mind. All right, I've got my sniper rifle. Quiet. As you know, 308 is very suppressed and suppressible. It's quiet as clapping your hands. Your legs aren't armored. Handled. 
Never mind. They shot. They shot the propane tank, I think. That's what did it. Yeah, it looks like it. Anyways, have some of this morphine. Hope you don't form a habit. Yeah, I, I do. I do appreciate the uh, Pulp Fiction revival there. As you know, you want to stab people right into the chest cavity, overhand, as hard as you can. That's how you get medicine in people. Hey, look, there's a convoy coming down the road just in time. We've got a long way to go and a short time to get there. Or eastbound, something, something, run. Foot down on the pedal. Never mind the break. Well, that part's accurate. Yes. Truckers are, you know, I mean, they're their own The convoy's stuck in traffic. All right, this should be easy. Let's just bail out and do what we do. Action, violence of action. I, and as soon as I got out, they move. I just shot a civilian. Uh-huh, fuck him. They're in the way. I just ran one down. Okay, I stopped the vehicle by just shooting at it. Never works in movies. Is that a tracer in midair? What the fuck is going on? Alright. Did you die? I don't know if you just watched that happen, but it was glorious. I didn't see it. What? So I killed everybody in the truck, and therefore there was nobody to hit the brake, and it continued onward and ran me over. Oh. Well, time for your second morphine in five minutes. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. It's not habit forming at all, as you said. You know, I I hate to say that we need to do OPSEC or INSEC uh, here, but this guy is reporting in the open on the radio. Maybe it's not the open. I mean, it could be sync cars. Everybody knows that you can't beat sync cars. Right. I'm just I'm just wondering for this whole deniable operations thing. Like this guy's just talking over the radio and it's like, "Hey, you know, there's other actors who may be listening down here, like listening stations from other countries that are probably just breaking this as soon as we air it." Yeah, no. It's not a concern. On one hand, I do understand that they wanted it to be future drone combat thingy, but if they wanted to do the Kiki Camarina story, yeah. they should have just done 80s Columbia with this gameplay. That would have been awesome. Like, 80s Columbia with this gameplay would have been awesome. Like, just 80s South America. Make up a country. Just make up yep. a country. All right, we need to get into this building, and we have to blow the doors off. And hold on. It's going to be yeah. close quarters, right? So hold on. Let me get it my is. load out here. Sniper rifle, do, probably, do not, have... probably not useful. I'm going to use a FAL for close quarters, and then uh, my backup close quarters gun is going to be, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Super shorty. One of the few cases where this gun is actually all right. When you're ready. All right. Uh, oh, shit. Yeah. Okay, do it. The oh, fuck? I just fell off the roof. Okay, get in there. Serbu Super Shorty. Got one. Got two. Reloading. Alright, I'm hacking. Guys I'm in hacking the basement it. are all dead. We're hacked. I almost ate it, but I got the guys in the basement. Good. Now, Super Shorty is good for, like, point and blank. And that's about it. Um, there's also the Curse Nagant, which I will not be using. Uh, where is my... Ah, yes, there we go. I got So is my... this a fucking SETI station? Listen, it's very important in South American culture to keep an eye on E.T., right? <laughs> you saw that movie Contact, I mean, look right? Look at that fucking dish. Yeah, they're, they're backlinking to Arecibo. Which I guess at this point in history is still good. God bless you, Arecibo, you did your part. You were the best... You were the best standoff in GoldenEye we could have hoped for, and you helped us do stuff in space. God rest you, General yeah. Telescope. Oh, this is where we have to steal that car, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, well, I'm going to wear all black. And have you done that one? I, no, I, I guess it didn't count. Got him. Let's just slice the town as best we can. Oh, someone's already shot the car. 
I wish we had the Far Cry style fix car button. Where you just... Yeah. Oh god, you're already down? Yeah, I'm down. That's most of me splattered all over the passenger door. I have no FAL ammo. Oh god. I'm taking cover, but not good cover. Oh, uh, no, I'm stuck in the animation! Damn. Ah, the animation. It always gets us. It always gets us in the end! Yeah. Look, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go in there and do it, and then I'll just cross it off the to-do list, right? And we'll just be like, look, we did our part. Simple as, as Chippy says, right? So I carry a hundred rounds of FAL ammo. Why? I mean, that's five max. It's not enough. I should be carrying I... ten. I know that's a lot of ammo, but a firefight is typically intense. I know the implied idea is that we shouldn't be shooting everybody all the time. Like, that's the idea. That is, that is the concept of the operation, yes. Maybe we should leave that car alone for a minute and just clean the village out and then just drive it out, like, no problem. Like, that sounds like a pretty sound operation plan. I'm also stealing their food yeah, supplies. Yeah, for quitters. For quitters? Okay. I guess it snowballs, right? That's a civilian. All right, I thought that was a bad guy. I just shot some guy. I just dropped him in his house. All you did was eliminate a future enemy combatant. Good God. All right, let's see. They have PP-19s. Why can't we have PP-19s? I think we can. No, eventually. I mean in America. Why would you add that line of dialogue? See, I would have written better dialogue. I would have been like, Yeah. You have the guys sitting there going like, you have the guys driving there and they're like, does this have a cup holder? And the guy goes, no. And they're like, why would you buy a $200,000 car that doesn't have a cup holder? And that starts an argument all the way back. You know what I mean? Like they just yeah. sit there and have this huge argument over what cars they would buy if they had the money. And then their operator gets on the, on the horn and goes, hey, hey, shut the fuck up. You both don't <laughs> make this money. And the guy's like, well, I could. You know, I could go to the dark side, I could I could move some coke, I know how to do this. And they're like, this is why you can't have nice things, you know? Like, the, the their handler just casually threatens to drone strike them if they don't shut up. Yeah, yeah, exactly. What have we done? <laughs> why? Well, it was worth it. I... Alright, I mean, I'm not gonna Cause... disagree. That was interesting. No, we'll, we'll, I'll get us out. We're good. See, we're out. Yeah, and you know, these supercars are known for their uh, all-wheel drive. Well, some of them actually do have all-wheel drive, uh, just yeah. so they can take off faster. But they're, they're known for their generous ground clearance. Okay. I couldn't see him. Well, that lady's dead. No, 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 no. So, what did we learn? Hold on. If we get another car, we can just knock it over. I'm gonna sit here and wait in it. No, nope, vehicle failed. destroyed. Yeah, the oil drained him out, out of the engine, and now we're all dead. Do you want to drive next time? I would like to drive next time, yes. Oh, I bid farewell to my beautiful land. And as mustered and ordered before you I stand To march off to war and to die if I must And to fight like a bastard in this you must trust As, as the years, years pass along you will see what it's worth Bearing bodies and moving to another earth I fear not the low bear what happens to me just as long as my Van Zandt is finally free Just as long as old Van Zandt will remember me Set a course to our neighbors or anywhere new To a place where I can stand alongside the view Of the bravest we have, though we are not the best I'll wager we'll pass our most ultimate test as a mayhem will follow what we do today For all of our orders are morally great 
I fear not the low bear, what happens to me? As long as my Tanzant is finally free, for as long as old Tanzant will remember me. with whatever they have left on hand and again we'll rise up to defend our land the Though the Vanzant militia is always at war but we never quite know what we are fighting for I fear not the low pair what happens to me as long as my Vanzant is finally free for as long as old Vanzant will remember me But if you feel the call and are willing to sign, you will find that you place your life down on that line. Surrender is never a tactic we use, for our cockpits are lacking an ejection fuse. I fear not the low bear, what happens to me? As long as my Vanzant is finally free, just as long as my homeland will remember me. My friend Aaron showed me a meme where it said that their favorite activity was to approach people wearing 5'11 clothes in public and ask them what their concealed carry gun was for part of a uh, journalistic, uh, you know, interview and watch how mad yes. they get. Yeah. Yeah, that's too true. I, I love that whole gray man thing where people are like, I'm the gray man. No one will know I'm covering and then I'm going to go on Instagram and show people these 800 pictures of guns I have. Here's my pocket dump with the 800 guns I possess. Uh, have you ever run into anybody that thinks that gray man means everything has to be gray? Um, everything is gray to me. I'm colorblind. Oh, yes, I forget. I do the real gray man. 